it's Kat here, and today I'm going to do my paranormal activity video. Yay! Anyway, so, yeah. I have nothing else to say, so let's just get started. Incident number one! Okay, this happened when I was like eight years old. It scarred me for life, okay? For life. So, I was eight years old. I went down into my basement, which I'll show you later. And then all of a sudden, I start hearing banging. Not even knocking, full on banging. Like, only, you know, louder. And then, you know, I ran up running like a little bit because, you know, I was a little baby. So, and then, and then, two years after that incident, which, of course, I was still emotionally scarred. I still haven't forgot about it. I find out there was a trap door by where I heard the banging coming from. It was like... <laughs> You're kidding, right? So, we went down there, of course. I'm, like, tiptoeing because I don't want any demons coming at me. And, of course, we open. Oh, hang on. We go down there. I'm, like, ten at this point. Um, we go down there. She opens the trap door. And yeah, nothing happened. So then, a couple years later, I'm now a teenager. <laughs> I had a party. Um, one friend came early. Um, so we went downstairs, and then I told her about the trap door, and she wanted to see it. So I was like, "All right." I grabbed a ruler for two reasons. A, the trap door was kind of high up. I wasn't tall enough to reach it. B, even if I was tall enough, which I probably am, I wouldn't want to touch it. So I just grabbed, you know, I grabbed a metal ruler. It was already down there. And, of course, no rats, bats, anything came out of that trap door. Yay! Incident number two. You can find these again more and more recent. Um... What was incident number two? Uh, yikes. Okay, okay. Ah. I can't remember what she wanted to say. Um, yikes. You know, um, orbs. Oh yeah, I remember. So, you know, just seeing like orbs and stuff, you know, like occasional whispers, sometimes you'll see something in the corner of your eye. And then, and then, we were, it was winter break, I was like 10 probably, or 10 or 11, possibly 12, I don't know, 10 or 11, and we were getting ready to take a day trip because it was like the last day of winter break. So, and we haven't really done much, so we wanted to take a little day trip. And we were going to the aquarium. So, we were getting ready to go, and all of a sudden I heard, like, a crash. And, you know, I just, you know, assumed it was coming from my brother's room. So I come in there asking if he was okay and what fell. He said, nothing, why? So then I was like, that was weird, what crashed and. But of course I figured, you know, it must have been not that important if no one else was going crazy for it. So then I go into my room because I was getting ready and that's where I keep my clothes and my shoes. Um, and then I realized my vanity mirror was on the floor. I was like, that's what fell. But how? There was no one else in my room. The vanity mirror wasn't actually against the wall. The window was closed because it was winter, 
I just poked myself in the eye. Ow. Yeah, it was winter, and you know, we don't usually have windows open in winter. And it was like kind of a heavy mirror, it's not like a draft could have pushed it down. You have had to use force. So, luckily, it was the weird thing is because it didn't really break. It crashed off my vanity. And the vanity was like two feet long. So, it crashed off the vanity. It would have had to like, someone would have had to push it and then have it like kind of flip over the vanity to end up on the floor. But the weird thing is no glass shattered. The vanity mirror, the mirror was still in one piece. Explain. Incident number three. All right, so I know I'm forgetting a lot of minor incidents, but you know, it's all good. All right, so this one I have my friend over. We're just gonna call her Sarah for now. Um, so, um, she was sleeping over. This was the last time she slept over. Um, we were sleep, we were going to have like a full on sleepover, like stay up late, eat snacks and stuff. Like we pulled out the recliner bed and stuff. Like we were having like a full out sleepover. And the weird thing was, cause then just not, cause the night before, because this was early in the morning during the sleepover. But the night before, I got an Amber Alert on my phone. And the weird thing was, no one else got an Amber Alert on, my, on their phone. Sarah didn't get an Amber Alert on hers. My mom didn't get an Amber Alert on hers. I was the only one who got that Amber Alert. So I was like, hmm, okay. And then I looked. So then I typed in the address on the Amber Alert in Maps. And I'm like, but it's like almost an hour and a half away. Why did no one else get the Amber Alert? Or it's not like it's close. It's an hour. It's like in New Jersey. It's an hour and a half away. So anyway, all right. Anyway, that's not the point. So the next morning, cause Anna went to the bat. Sarah went to the bathroom. Um. Because we have two bathrooms, so she went into one bathroom, I had to go to the bathroom after that, so I went into the other bathroom, and the weird thing was, I, the light, the bathroom light just randomly shut off like that, and it wouldn't, like, it wouldn't turn on. So then we, so I was like, okay, it's weird, but I'm not, I don't really care, right? It's too early in the morning for this. Anyway, um... So then we went to my dad's that night, not because we were scared, but because we wanted to see him. So then we got back from my dad's, and my brother used that bathroom, and then he said the light just turned on like that, and like, hold up, something just don't want to add up right. And then of course that morning, Sarah started feeling sick. Sarah started feeling sick, and she went home. Which is okay because she spent the night, but she started feeling sick and yeah, she went home. Like I tried giving her like small stuff, like tra like some those small thin packages of trail mix, some dried Cheerios, you know, stuff you would eat like when you feel nauseous and stuff. Like yeah, like small stuff like that. And yeah. Incident number four. I can't help I can't if this is going to happen before or after that one. But anyway, this was like two in the morning. I'm kind of a light sleeper, so I woke up to knocking on my bedroom walls. And I'm like, hmm, all right, that's weird. Why is this happening? I mean, it was like a knock, like, like, like two knocks. Like, you know, like one or two knocks at a time, then it stopped for a little bit. Then it would, 
then, you know, it'd be quiet again. I'd try to go back to sleep. And then, he knocks again. Like, like, mm, nah, -uh, no, no. Poltergeist, demon thing, whatever you are, out. I'm trying to sleep. Let alone I had to wake, let alone I had to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning for school. Out. Demon, ghost, thing, whatever you are, out. I don't know if that came up there. It was like some weird, like, almost like orb thing right there. I don't know if it came up on camera. You heard me, ghost, demon, thing, out. Out this house. Anyway. So, you know, and then there was this one point where there were three knocks. And I'm like, I hope to God that did not mean the three numbers. I'm not going to say it, but three numbers, that means something very unholy. Three. And then, not a few minutes, just a few minutes after those, not, maybe not even just a few minutes, like a few seconds after those knocks, after the three knocks, I hear a little girl's, I hear a little girl's voice telling me to get out clear as day. Get out. I'm like, mm, no. One, you're a little girl who sounded like she was like five or six, possibly even younger than that. Two, this is my house, but I just pretty much laid there dead silent. Like, frozen. Like, I, I just kind of didn't know what to do, like what, how to move, what to say. So, you know, it's kind of like at 3 o'clock in the morning at this point, and I was just like, alright, this is this night is just not going well. So, I went to my secret weapon. I go onto YouTube, because that's what I do when I wake up in the middle of the night, to creepy things like this happening, or even just thunderstorms. So, I went onto YouTube. And I was watching on Twains because I love him. You're my favorite Twains. If you're watching this video, I absolutely love you. Um, and he's like my weapon. Like when I'm scared, like to forget about it and you know make me laugh. So like at least go, so you know go go night night. So I don't really, yeah. Incident number five. Uh, what was incident number five? Oh yeah. So this happened a couple months ago, um, I think we were on break or it was just the start of summer vacation. We were either on some, we were either on break or it was just the start of summer vacation. Um, I'm in the living room. It was like 10 o'clock at night. Cause obviously there was no school that next day so I was like, mm, party, I'm gonna stay up late. And you know, I'm in the living room, just chilling. No one, there's no one else in here, but me. My mom and stepfather are upstairs. My brother's in his room, probably you not know, watching YouTube. I was in the living room, you know, watching YouTube, listening to music on my laptop. And then a full-figured something. I didn't know what it was, but it was full-figured, all in white. Like, just standing in the full air. Like, just standing there staring at me while rock out to music alone. Yeah. And so I'm like staring at it for a couple of seconds, and all of a sudden, boom, gone. And so then, and then, so then conveniently, my brother decides to walk out into the living room and wants to hang out. So I tell him about the figure, and he was like, Girl, no. Bye. I'm just joking. Alright, that was... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Alright, was it? Oh, yeah, wait. Getting back to the knocking. Um, I was Skyping with my friend. Um, we're gonna call her Sally for now. 
and I was telling her about the knocks, and we were Skyping, and then she asked me if I'm still hearing knocks. And then, this ghost wanted to get smart. This ghost wanted to be like some big, big shot smart ass. And there was just a single knock on my wall. I'm like, excuse me, poltergeist, leave. I'm trying to have a, I'm trying to have a decent Skype call with my friend. Leave, poltergeist. So yeah, and then. Oh, hell no. Yeet. This thing, as you just saw, just loves to start playing at random times. And there's this simulation of Annabelle. So, um, yeah. I think that's about it. I love you guys. I think I promise I will post next week. If not, it's because I couldn't think of anything to post about or just because I died. Bye, guys. Peace out.